here in Camden, New Jersey today. Whew, after a one and a half hour ride from my house, I can finally see the Cooper River Lake. Man, I mentioned in one of my previous videos, and this is what I'm talking about. Check that out. These fellas are multiplying here, multiplying. And the government doesn't do anything about it, you know? There's a law that doesn't let us do anything to them, but they're still multiplying. Looking great. A little bit too windy, but it's still looking great. Despite the fact that it's pretty much muddy everywhere and a little bit windier than I would like. You know, it did rain a lot yesterday. But anyways, the Cooper River Lake in Camden is looking good. Man, these geese, they do scare me though. I see nobody there on my carpet spot on the other side of the lake. So that's where I'm gonna set up. Going to my carping spot here at the Cooper River Lake, crossing the Ruth 130 bridge, as you guys can see, right here, right across it right now. And uh, you know, just so you guys know, and this is an inside information here for local anglers, under the Ruth 130 bridge is a very, very good spot to catch some black crappie and destroy bass. Although today, I'm not going for those species, right? Did I, did I just spot burn? Well, who cares, man? <laughs> Anyways, this bridge over here, 130, under it, big crappie, man. Big crappie, and sometimes I strike bass or two, you know? Whew. We are going to have my spot now, right on that side where that little sign is at, and we gotta fish for some carp today. Original plan? was for me to go to Delaware, Delaware State, and explore the Christina River. But you know, it rained a lot yesterday, a lot, a lot of rain. So most of the rivers and creeks, they're raging right now, muddy and fast. That's why today I decided to come here to the Cooper River Lake, right? It is a lake. So even though with all the rain, the waters are still the same. Hopefully we'll be able to catch some carp today that is the initial plan but you know if carp doesn't come we'll just catch whatever bites you know no big deal but let's get this thing started rod holders going in man it's always hard to find a good spot here for rod holders whoa what the heck we got here man we got a dead blueback herring right here now that's pretty niche you know oh, look at this folks a dead Blueback hearing, yeah. Probably when the tide went went out here, because this is kind of tidal. Sometimes one of the blue ba blueback hearings just got trapped in this little spot. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is really good bait for catfish right here. But I don't even know if this is legal to use in New Jersey or not. I don't think I don't think this is legal. You know, herring, at least in Pennsylvania, is not legal. Let me tie on here my traditional slip sinker setup that I use for my carp fishing with a reinforced clinch knot. I tend not to use Palomar lures unless I am using lures. So there you go. A small, a small half ounce sinker with a snap swivel. And for today, for the carp fishing, because they have quite small mouths, right? I really like to go kind of, I wouldn't call it finesse, but I like to be on the smaller side. So I'm just using a single size six is nailed Eagle Claw hook. There we go. Yeah, and this is the whole setup here, complete. And for bait, just your regular kernel corn, right? Where's my can opener? And you know, folks, I don't know if you guys can see here or not, right? I think, I think you can, right? The view here, I complain a lot about the geese, but really, they poop everywhere, man. This geese waste, I mean, I don't, I don't get so mad about it, you know? But this is everywhere, everywhere here is, is geese poop, you know? And this is not good for the environment. Definitely not good for the environment, you know? So there you go. The government's not doing anything about this geese. Alrighty, time to fish for our carp. I didn't chum yet. I did not do pre-chum in the spot either. But this is how you see, this is how I do it, all right? One little hook size six, no hair, no hair rig, nothing fancy. I just put two pieces of kernel corn 
on my hook cover the whole thing leave the tip exposed that's it this is how i like it leave the little tip exposed for a good hook set and we gotta go and be ready to catch some fish yeah let's do it gotta cast don't need to be far away there's a good range right here right in front of me about 15 15 feet all right and that's about the area where i'm going to chum too there we go perfect drag a little bit loose right because i'm not going i'm not using the european pod or bait runners so just setting the drag a little bit loose and let the fish take it if there's any fish around for chumming summertime i like to chum a whole can of corn you know carp do feed heavily and a lot so i like to chum see I, i'm chumming all here already because i'm gonna have two more rods on the side right but i do like to chum a lot there we go let the carp feed around Ugh, my chum it is summertime right there we go about half a can of corn gone already i got three cans here total let's get carping started Ooh, a carp just surfaced right there that's a freaking good sign i mean that means they're spawning but that means there's at least one carp very close to my chum you know who knows once they're spawning sometimes they stop by you know and they chew on the chum i surely hope that happens man at least we know there's one carp around here whoa that's that's fish on fish on right here i don't know what it is but it is on oh it's not a carp it's not a carp it's a catfish what is that wait 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 maybe it is a carp just a very small carp no i think it's a catfish oh it's a catfish it's catfish catfish why did you do that to me catfish why did you do this to me why why did you decide to go on my chum and eat my corn huh and the white catfish too good lord man all right first culprit of the day not a carp what do we got here? A white catfish, all right? Ictalurus catus. Very easy, actually not very easy to identify, but this is, you know, a bow hat. It has a bigger head in comparison to its body. And one of its signature things is that its tail is not symmetric. This side, as you guys can see, is bigger than that side, right? That's what makes it a white catfish. Not to mention that half of its body is gray dark and half is white around its belly right beautiful fish eating on my chum here oh man first culprit of the day not a carp but a catfish ain't that sad well i guess a white catfish is still a white catfish it's a, it's a beautiful fish all right let's not let's not give crap to this fish it is a beautiful beautiful sample here good to go man splash my whole gopro People tell me that I complain too much about geese, you know, they tell me, leave the geese alone, Leo, leave the geese alone. Look, like I said, you know, all, all poop here, all poop here on the floor, you know, all on my fishing spot, bad for the ecosystem. Check this out. Check this out. Can you even count? Can you even count how many geese are here? Because I can't. Look at that. That's an infestation right here, all right? Look at that. Young ones, old ones. And if I approach them, they're going to attack me. So I'm just going to film from over here. But you see this? This is a freaking infestation. I always tell people, you guys have too much sex, all right? Too much sex. Too many eggs every year. You see that? We got a problem here. I'm sorry? One catfish so far. That's it. I'm waiting for some carp. Yeah. So I'll be here until like 7, 8 o'clock. <laughs> oh there we go there you go see that yeah finally i think uh, yeah i think there's a carp that's a carp yeah man i gotta be here for a few more hours you know that is a solid hitch solid hit right here good stuff 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Wait here. Yeah, man. This is going to be the first carp of the day. Solid. Swam all the way here, too. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. There we go. What a beauty. Yeah, yeah. It's a carp. I'm all right. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm all right. Thank you. Just got to play it a little bit longer here. Scoop up by hand, maybe. Is it big? You can't... No, this one's a small one. But even the small ones, you know, they, they run really well. Oh, that's a big one. There we go. There we go. Yeah, a little fella. First carp of the day. One catfish before this. No. All right, carp. There we go. See that? Oh, yeah. Beautiful, huh? First one of the day. Good stuff. <laughs> okay, we're gonna weight this guy a little bit, and then we're gonna release him. All right, let's get a weight on this guy, fellas. My net is three and a half pounds, so all we have to do is get the weight here on the scale and reduce 3.5. This is a small one. I think it's about five pounds, so we'll see. Let's see here. We got here, wait, gotta zero it. All right, we got here seven, about eight on the scale. Yeah, almost eight pounds on the scale here. So minus three and a half is about four and a half pounds. Yeah, four and a half pounds. First carp of the day, beautiful fish. You guys can have here, oh, a final view of this carp. Yeah, beautiful. Truly a gorgeous fish. Gotta tell you folks, you know, carp, they're fun to catch. Let's do a release of this fish over here. Although I think this fish is ready to go, but let's do a, a release of this fish here. Easy, easy. There he goes. Whoa, 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 we gotta bite there, we gotta bite, we gotta bite here. Oh, hell yeah. Come on, come on, sit on. Fish on. Now, is it a carp or a catfish? It's pulling pretty hard. It's coming to the corner here too. Ooh, I don't know, it could be a big catfish. It could be a small carp. Regardless, we got something on here. I think it's a catfish, but you know, we haven't surfaced yet, so I don't know what to tell you. Come on. Oh, it is a carp. It is a carp. It is a carp. Let me get right my net there. It is a carp. Take it easy, carp. Oh yeah, it's a small, it's a small carp, but it's a small carp, but it is a carp regardless. I tired this carp a little bit more. Man, it's going strong this fish, even though it's so small. Come here, carp. I hate the fact that this place has some of the thorns or something, you know, in front here. So it makes my netting job quite hard. See, it gets stuck on these things. My poor net, my poor Bowser net. There we go, it's in. Come on, don't give me no hard time. There we go. Yeah. Second one of the day, man. What a beauty. Ultimately, it's a beauty. A little bit bigger than the previous one. Let's get a measure on it. Should be a little bit bigger than the last one. Let's see. Last one was at five pounds. Yeah, a little bit bigger, see? A 10, 10 and a half. This one's a seven pounder. Seven pounder, since the net is three and a half so there we go 
All right, seven pounder. Last one was five pounds. This one's a seven. Let's take a few photos and release it. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Final view of our fish here. Beautiful common carp. Time to release it here. Let's do this, make this into a nice release. Whew. Yo, oh, this is a gorgeous fish. I don't give it that much. Beautiful. There it goes. Second carp of the day. All right, folks, giving you guys a final update here. It's about 5, 18 p.m. right now. I'm at the Cooper River Lake here in New Jersey. It was a brutal day. <laughs> As you guys saw, you know, I ended up landing two carp, one of the five pounds, one of the seven pounds, both of them pretty small, one white catfish. And you know, I've been here since 1 p.m. So you guys can calculate, right? 1 p.m., 5.30, four and a half hours for three fish. It was a really, really sad day for me. On one hand, you know, I, I could tell you that I'm very happy that I didn't get skunked, you know what I mean? I didn't pre chum, I came here and I chum on the spot, ended up landing two carp. On the other hand, I was really, really wishing for at least one fish over 10 pounds, right? And that did not happen today. But don't worry about it, folks. I will keep carping, you know, in other places and hopefully we will land some fish for the next fishing sessions. Tomorrow, actually the day after, Tuesday, today is Sunday, I will be going down to Atlantic City, New Jersey, you know, so there should be a video coming up on the channel later on that. But for now, that's it, fellas. Super tired today, calling it a day. Tie lines, and until next video.